everybody i hope everyone's doing well this video i will be doing the lip product addict tag so if you guys are interested do stick around to be the nooks rev de miel i hope i am pronouncing that right this one is a honey based lip balm that has a bit of grit or texture to it that may seem odd for others but i absolutely adore it it's very substantial extremely moisturizing but not uncomfortable this one you can get in most canadian drugstores they retail for 19 canadian i think about that price so it's not exactly inexpensive but at the same time I think they're much better than the fresh sugar lip balms, which I don't understand why they are about 30 US dollars. This is how it looks. It has a really pleasing, almost, it's a luxurious organic scent. So definitely my lip balm treatment of choice. have to be from the brand Inglot in number 126 and this one I've ever since I've discovered it just nothing has come close to being the most flattering cool toned blue based red for my MAC NC30 skin and I've actually swatched it already so this is how the Inglot packaging so that is 126 For a luxury, hands down, I think everybody's would be the Tom Ford lipsticks. Hands down, it is one of those where the hype is definitely worth it and you must try it to see and understand what everybody is saying. It is absolutely quality from packaging to product. It, the product is very substantial in quality. Even when you apply it on the lip, it feels more hefty than the Chanel or the Dior lipsticks. This one is in 07 Pink Dusk and they are moisturizing non-drying. They are long wear, beautifully pigmented. The color that you get on the lip is the color that you have on the bullet so definitely everything that you would look for in a lipstick would have to be captured by this product there are two that instantly came to mind but because of price point if i only had to choose one it would definitely be the wet and wild lipsticks because of their opaqueness and pigmentation you also get the color in the bullet uh, is the same color you'll get in your lip. This is this shade and you can see how beautifully colored that is. It is long wearing and it is not extremely moisturizing but it's not drying as well. The clothes runner up is also something that I have in multiple shades and that I've kept with me and it's the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks that come in this packaging. This is my current go-to Pink in the Afternoon 415 and this is just a bit more moisturizing than the Wet n Wild, but same level of opaqueness and pigmentation. Maybe not as long wearing because, especially with a cream finish, but the cream finish of these lipsticks are my absolute favorite. They also come in mattes and I think satins. Best MAC lipstick, unfortunately, I cannot find mine right now, but it has to be MAC Viva Glam 5 ever since it came out, I guess more than five years ago or even maybe more than that. It's just been a great go-to in MAC. I'm not a very big MAC lipstick fan. It's very far and in between that I do like their shades, but MAC Viva Glam 5 is the one shade that... I probably have repurchased and I still keep constantly with me. Most disappointing, there are two, but I only have one with me right now. I can't find the other one. And it's those luxury, trying to be hybrid lip products that is a lipstick slash lip gloss. The first one is from Giorgio Armani, their Lip Maestro Intense Velvet Color. This one is in 500. This one had such a big hype, especially or specifically this shade. I even had to track it down, but when I received, when I got it, I, I never reached for it after trying it out. And I think it made my lip extremely dry and chap after a few hours, which never really happens for my lip. Although I would have to say the pigmentation and opaqueness is definitely there. 
I hate the scent as well. It smells very chemically and cheap, like a lot of the not very good lip products out there or the imitation ones where as soon as you put them, you know you're putting chemical directly on your lip. This is it. So the color and the opaqueness is very, very good, but other than that, it made my lips chap and dry, which it never happens to my lips, and the consistency just did not sit well on my lip. The other runner-up was YSL Lip Lac. I think that's what it's called. I don't have it with me right now. I don't know where I've placed it, but that was another formula that did not sit well on my lip. It just was very uncomfortable and it felt drying after a while. Definitely it is a yes for me. Not only does it define the lips better, but it also allows the product or keeps the product in place no matter how good your product is. It just makes such a huge difference. There are a couple that I think staples that I always have to have. One is the MAC Cherry Lip Liner, which I think is the most universal red lip liner. And then I have two of my absolute go-to nudes that I always have with me or have backups. One is the Annabelle Lip Liner in 405 Demure, and the other one is the Kevin O'Quan Lip Liner in Medium. Hands down, it would have to be, again, Tom Ford. This one is in 04 Pink Gilt. Packaging, quality in, in product packaging and functionality and even and most especially the product itself this one just gives i mean and the comfort and wear and the smell is amazing i'm gonna show you guys how beautiful this is even on this watch so this is it right here you can see how that is so beautifully reflective and, and on the lip, it just looks almost three-dimensional. It is absolute love. A clothes runner-up is something that just came out, and I have a couple of... It's a Dior Attic Fluid Sticks. Sorry, it's not exactly a, a lip gloss, but it is a hybrid, and it just is able to achieve what the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro I think was trying to achieve which is high pigmentation and gloss but the Dior ones are just extremely comfortable, beautiful on opaque, non-drying. So this is one of the Dior fluid sticks that I have and I will just swatch this for you guys pretty quickly. Very comfortable to wear. Love the packaging quality. Love the very specific angled lip applicator and this is it right here you can see the amazing shine and the color payoff is just gorgeous two second runners up one is the kevin o'quan the lip gloss not as beautiful as the tom ford but very very close this is the kevin o'quan you can see the beautiful finish as well and last but not the least is in terms of lip glosses, lip fusion and fatuation is a second runner up tied with a Kevin O'Conn. This is how it looks. Again, while the packaging is not as great as you can see, it's very messy, which is what makes Tom Ford and the Dior stand out. But this one is just extremely pigmented, extremely glossy. So for very smoky eyes and nights out, this is an amazing, amazing gloss to have. A couple as well, you can see I'm an addict. I can't just choose one. Um, two of them are from Dior. And I guess if I just had to pick one, it would first and foremost be this one, the Dior Lip Maximizer Collagen Active. This for me is one of those must-haves from the brand. It is a lip treatment. More, more than just being a gloss, you can wear it overnight. It has a plumping effect. It has a tingling feeling when you put it on, but over top lip pencil or any other lip product, absolutely amazing. It just really, I can't explain it, but any other lip color, any lip color that you have, this, is, this universally makes it much better. Another, another extra is the lip 
Polish Smoothing Lacquer from Dior. This one has a very, very unique applicator, which looks, it doesn't look unique when it's here, but this is actually a roll. It rolls on your lip as you apply it. And the Dior, the Dior glosses smell amazing anyway, but this one looks amazing for daily use. You do not need a lip product or a lip liner. If you just want that no makeup look, this is your go-to product. And last but not the least, something extra, the EOS lip balms have always been a favorite daily priming product for me. I'm not so sure why, but I think it just leaves the right amount of priming and tackiness on the lips. So that is about it. Those are my, that is my lip product addict tag. And as you can see, I have multiple answers for some of the questions. So clearly I am quite, addicted to lip products, I guess makeup in general, but I hope you guys found that interesting and informative. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.